For months, I've been evaluating the usability and effectiveness of Mosaic Engineering's optical anti-aliasing filter for the Canon 5D Mark II. I'm Glenn Przborski, and I'm a director cinematographer who works primarily on TV commercials around the country. I shot this footage to confirm the sharpness and overall performance of the filter, specifically with wide-angle lenses. Now, these outdoor scenes were all shot with a circular polarizer in bright sunlight between an f5.6 and f11 to get the sharpest image from the lenses. And if you're used to screening and looking carefully at 5D footage, you'll notice something different here. There's literally no aliasing artifacts or moray pattern interference in the video, and that's a very hard thing to do with the 5D. Now here's a scene that would have been real problems without the anti-aliasing filter. The hard vertical lines and horizontal lines of the fence combined with the vines wrapped around them with a 24 millimeter very sharp lens would have caused all kind of little jaggy things as the camera slowly pans left and right and everyone has seen that problem. That's because Canon and other manufacturers use a technique called line skipping and in line skipping to get that big imager down to a high definition 1080p they simply read every third row of pixels and ignore the in-betweens, and that's just a recipe for aliasing. Now here's another scene that would cause problems if you didn't have the anti-aliasing filter. The black uh, sharp edges of that table and the diagonal lines of the various chairs that you see in that scene would naturally be a source of aliasing and possible moray pattern interference. Now this video that you're seeing has all been shot with the final production version of the Mosaic Engineering filter. I found from testing the prototypes, the best way to use it is you simply slide it into the camera and pretend it's not there. It couldn't be any, any more simple than that. I removed the circular polarizer and shot a few available light indoor scenes. Now light loss with the filter inside your camera is less than a quarter stop, so you still have that 5D's amazing light sensitivity. The only thing you lose is virtually all the aliasing artifacts and more a pattern interference. Back outside, I couldn't resist putting my favorite lens back on the camera, the 70 to 200 millimeter Canon with the image stabilizer with it zoomed all the way in to grab some close-ups. Anyway, I don't want to sound like a salesman. I'm certainly not a salesman for the company, but I can't imagine not having this filter if you use your 5D for commercial projects like corporate videos, TV spots, broadcast shows, film cutaways, or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching.